Welcome Warrior fans, this is Warrior Review. I'm Austin Reeves and I'm here with head coach Shane Boggs. I appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, the Warriors took a, a road trip to John Millage Academy and uh, we came up short, coach, uh, but you saw a lot of positive things that you like and also you know, a lot of coaching points too that you want to work on. But uh, uh, before we get into the highlights, just a couple of quick positive things you saw. Well, I mean, we fought. We fought the whole way. We, we take the long trip up there to play a team that's won 50-something in a row. And, and honestly, when we got on the bus, we expected to win. And I think when you get out there and you face some adversity, you're going to find out real soon, did your guys really expect to win? The answer was yes. I mean, we, our kids fought all the way through it, you know. And um, honestly, the score got, got out of hand a little bit. But um, there, there just were so many plays where we're able to hold our own. We're able to, you know, when we execute right, good things happen. And I want to, I want to one, commend the great effort, but I also want to address what we, you know, the controllables. Yeah. And there were quite a few of those, so we'll, we'll get to work on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. We're going to go ahead and, and get to the highlights real quick here. All right, so here we are. They're kicking off to us. Um, TJ, they kicked everything there on film. We put TJ there, put an extra blocker. Blocker's got the job done, and TJ's going to finish for us. So um, after they had scored uh, to open the game, we got a little return. You'll see a kick out. I think that's Nick Clark on a kick out block. Yeah, they're uh, setting got, the edge. Yeah, that was two great. Two or three other guys really doing a great job and um, just tremendous execution here, keeping us in this thing. So TJ finishes and uh, TJ's good at football. It's, it was fun to hear the other crowd grasp at how fast he was. Yeah. So this one, they're kicking a little void. Rex hustles up here. Um, obviously gets. We want to, that's goal one, maintain possession. A um, little play off, a little action off our speed option look there. Uh, had a couple guys open. He finds Briggs and for a first down, a really nice first down run there by TJ. Throw the tunnel screen here, jailbreak screen to Rex. We need to really be catching that thing closer to the sticks, maybe a half yard, full yard behind the line. Um, Got another drive here working. Yeah, we got a little shallow cross concept. Uh, Raj finds TJ. And we're, we're, we're not obviously in sequence on all these, so we're just kind of showing you some, some highlights and, and a couple of them where they got us maybe. But um, Raj gets out of the pocket here. Good time to run for sure. And um, what a great again. run. Good job by Rex downfield. What, 15, 20 yards downfield yep. blocking? Staying and on that block too. That's impressive. T Here's T the slow-mo. TJ's going to finish, yeah. So slow-mo allow you. You'll see Rex down there. A lot of times we tell them to run off and then um, engage late. So they were playing a bunch of man coverage, so we, we were trying to run him out of there. Um, really good job, though, by the line of scrimmage, by TJ, by Rex. Uh, play action off of a toss look, finds Briggs back in the back of the end zone there. Um, really nice throw using all the, the um, entire end zone there. So. Uh, didn't hit our target on that one, but um, we've done a great job in the kicking game. We really did a great job the other night. Great play by Aiden. Um, really think what you see there is a perfect uh, aiming point on a slant and tremendous effort. Uh, throwing a slant here to TJ. Um, Briggs wins inside, then TJ's behind him. Um, throw it out there late, get a first down. That's a, off kind of a three-man snag concept. Um, Go, screen go back to the screen here and picking up. Really had a chance to score on that one. Um, just had a little something going on downfield there that we got to correct. But um, and here we are in a fourth down situation. Uh, obviously, this is one that I'd love to have back. We we either protect a little better, we got an open guy, or maybe hand it to number five. But we had just done that two plays in a row, yeah. and they were bringing more and more people. So. Um, Good job turning that thing back up inside and a great job running the football. Here comes the cavalry, yep. A lot, a lot of hats around the ball. So they get us on, you know, we're in great position. Uh, there were so many times we're in great position. Um, and they get us on that screen a little bit. But um, running, it, running, turn it back inside here, um, forcing a punt. So I guess on fourth and 12 there, they're punting. Um, this is... Pretty nice little return by Rex, gets it out to the 40. And I guess this is the second half opener, so they're kicking to us. 
Good return. Really good return. We did it. We like I said earlier, we we really dominated. Honestly, the kicking game. When you look at returning one down to the 35-yard line and, and taking another one to the house, um, kind of a little rub wheel concept. We end up finding finding Briggs on a what I would call a kind of a snago type route. Um, really a pick and roll, yeah. le legal pick and roll in football. Legal, but, we'll say it. Yep. So good job there by Rex staying, getting it outside, and a good job by the blockers just missing an open guy and probably probably could call that yeah, penalty that, that there. Yeah, that would have been nice. Um, so here we are. Um, they do call this one, so we get pass and draw pass interference right there. And but it's not an automatic first down for a lot of you that um, yeah. think it College still like the pros, old days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really good job by Rods. They cover us up in a bunch of man coverage, so you get your QB run, and he makes a guy miss early, and and then runs to the pylon. So just keeping his eyes downfield, and he's going to be a weapon uh, running like that. He's going to get a lot more touchdowns. That, that's my prediction. Anyway. Absolutely, he's 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 like I've said a bunch of times. He's really done a great job of becoming a more explosive player and um, there'll be a time and a place um, to really start amping up that QB run game now that we get into region here. So certainly um, that's the way it ought to be done. We wanted to bounce this thing and, and to get guys running to the ball and usually, usually when we did that we had success. Obviously we miss a tackle out there on this one. They get, get us for a few but um, Nice awesome. job there. Good job sure. with our fits. Um, start calling a few penalties some a little bit later here in the game. Um, punts, punts it down inside the inside the 10, um, around the 7. Throw a stick route out here to Briggs. One-handed. Yeah, Amazing great, catch. Great, great catch. Um, Nick turns it up inside. We miss a tackle, and they get us for a big one here. So... Look how many white shirts are around the ball, though. I'd, I'd love to see that. Sure do. And you miss a tackle, you need to run back to the football, and that's what we did. So, proud of that. I um, think they got them for a penalty here. Mm -hmm. So, this one's coming back. Um, got them in long yardage. Really nice tackle. Rex had a bunch of them. Um, Really did a great job for us from that safety position. Uh, you see Caleb Lewis in pursuit, Aiden Hunt, another great effort play for him. Um, just can't say enough about how proud of, of our guys are for just hanging in there and continuing to fight. <laughs> so a little fourth quarter action. Um, again, making them go sideways and, and run into the ball pretty well here. So got them in long yardage. Good things happen. Absolutely, and they missed this field goal, so they moved it there, but they didn't didn't get anything out of that one. Um, really big run right here. Nice little bend on the zone by Isaiah Hill, and I think this one was a 44-yard play. So, you know, 44 yards there inside the 40 here. Uh, this is Toby. Toby Trumbauer rips off a long one. So then we go to our little flood concept. Raj finds Seth out there. He gets it down around the five, six yard line. Uh, go inside zone, get it down to the two. We're going to go right back at it. And um, ends up being their ball. So um, James Mizell with his first varsity pick. So proud of him. Four vert. Raj rips it in the seam to Seth and he catches it down close. This is one of those good ones where you find the number. I guess you find the number three in the progression. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that three or four in progression. That was yeah. amazing. And it, honestly, it turns into scramble drill, and Briggs, Briggs does a great job mirroring the quarterback. So Warriors uh, fall short on this one. Um, you saw some things uh, we, we going over these plays, some of the things of um, some, some controllables, as you say. What, what do you mean by that when you're, when you're talking to us? And you saw some things that were John Miller's made some good plays and also some, some plays maybe that – that we could do better on. Talk about those controllables. Well, we talk about, we try to take every play and put it in a category of either A, we won, we love what happened, B, some things happened that were out of our control, whether it be, and sometimes in life you get whipped. Sometimes on a football field, you're not real crazy about what the referees did, right? And then there's a third category where like, 
all things considered, as good as they were, and they're really good, mm -hmm. we left some things out there. And I, and I tell all our players, I'll, the, the first thing I do in that category every week is I go, well, what did I mess up, right? Yeah. And there's there's some of those. What what did we do wrong as a staff? What did we do wrong at each of the three levels on defense, individually with players, and you know up front on offense, and out on the perimeter and QB running back. And so if what what we know is that at every one of those levels, there are inches to be gained. Um, we could be so much better, even versus a team that's won 55 in a row. And I'm so proud of our team for that's that's where we've spent our energy this week. We really we went out on Monday and we we literally just corrected mistakes, uh, particularly on offense, for the first part of practice before we even get into the next game. Right. So there's a bunch of inches to be gained, and our team is hungry. You saw it Friday night. They're going to keep fighting for those inches, and, and and we'll be better because of this game for sure. All right. Well. Speaking of hungry, region play begins, and uh, you're going to defend the region crown. And uh, as always, a lot of good region teams are going to start with Deerfield. But just uh, give me your thoughts on the region and, and this title defense. I think what you'll see, I mean, I, I, probably people think us and Valwood are at the top, right? But I think you'll also see that it's like a lot of years on any given night, anybody's capable of beating anybody. I mean, I just watching – we're kind of working on the Deerfield um, Tiff, uh, sorry, Deerfield Terrell game uh, as a part of our preparation for them, and that's a game that could go either way. I mean, yeah. they both kept making plays to give themselves a chance, and ultimately take, Terrell makes a play or two more than Deerfield there and gets the win. But you're going to see a bunch of competitive teams, as always. Um, I mean, I think the state rankings show that. I mean, our our region's all over the yeah. you know top seven or eight there. But um, so it'll be competitive again. Yeah, and then. Uh, you know, thoughts going into the Deerfield game. You, you, you've got this, uh, you got open week, then Deerfield. Um, again, uh, you, you mentioned this, but I think it's a, a great thing that uh, this team really is working on execution, trying to get that better, trying to be better this week. Yeah, I've got a bunch of friends that really believe that more games are lost than won. And, yeah. uh, and, and that sounds negative, but like in life, like be the best version of you you can possibly be. And and that's what we need to work on. We don't need to worry about, you know, the difference between John Millage and Deerfield. And, um, but I, th I do think we got some reasons to be mighty motivated going up to Albany next week. So I promise you we'll be motivated. That's great. All right. Well, Coach, and uh, appreciate you. Appreciate, uh, um, you know, all, I've always been jealous of coaches, you know, uh, all the coaches in the area. You guys get to, to make young men into men. We appreciate that. Appreciate what y'all do and, uh, on a weekly basis. And I appreciate y'all tuning in. And we will see you next time on the Warrior Review.